What up? What's going on? Yes, it's been uh, probably a month since I made my last video. <laughs> so um, this is just going to be a quick video to do an update on my breast augmentation. And I had my Skype with a co-surgeon, not the surgeon that will be performing on the day, but a co-surgeon that will be there. And he pretty much did a rundown on everything that I kind of knew already, asking me what outcome I kind of hope to expect uh, and what I wanted and we went through all of that but I think it's um, more just a wait now until I have the physical examination when I actually go the day before so my surgery is now on the 16th not the 17th they pushed it back a day it'll be in the morning and I'm having my consult 2 30 the day before all that kind of thing the 3D imaging to sort of get a better understanding of what it's going to turn out like. They also t gave me a list of things that I shouldn't be taking two weeks prior to surgery and I don't know if that's the same for everyone, I'm not really sure and that is I should not be having any multivitamins, vitamin E, any uh, supplements containing garlic, ginger, I don't know why, fish oil. Uh, no Nurofen, Nurofen Plus, no Aspirin, or Ibuprofen, yeah, Dispirin, anything that can sort of thin the, thin the blood, or any anti-inflammatory medication. So they've got, so that's two, I can't take any of that sort of two weeks prior to my surgery. And vitamin C, zinc and magnesium is good to take like the lead up, I guess, and it's saying that it's kind of assists in the healing. I don't know, I'll do it, because it says to do it. There is also a slideshow that they get you to watch and sign off everything that it includes. It's got all post-op, pre-op information, any complications that can occur, blah, 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 blah. All right, now you can purchase the warranty, which is $300, and I think it's a 12-month warranty. And it does cover most uh, ruptured implants or tear in the implants. It covers double bubble when it falls underneath the breast fold. The only thing that it really doesn't cover is rippling and um, like implant size change. You can't use your warranty for that. But I'm going to get this piece of mind anyway. I'm, I'm really trying to watch what I say because last time I made a video it went for like 10 minutes and that gets boring. We don't want that. So I'm trying to cover everything that's like necessary. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's happening about four weeks. I fly up on the 15th console on the, oh sorry, yeah, 15th, console also on the 15th, surgery on the 16th in the morning, and then I've got about two weeks off work to recover, more if I need, I don't know, and but I'll leave it at that, and I'll, I'm going to be tracking everything, yeah, hey Mila, my kitty wants to say hello as part of usual, she's getting bigger since the last time, she's getting so much bigger than her this. The lips. Oh, that was cute. Alright, say goodbye, Mia. Peace.